Hey, good day. God bless you. Welcome to the Daily Reminder. Uh, we want to encourage you to hang out here with us for just a few moments. This, once again, gives us an opportunity to share a verse or a thought, hopefully something that will carry you through the day as you start your day. And uh, we're grateful for um, the opportunity really to be with you this morning or this evening, whenever you're catching this. Let me give you a couple of verses. I love these verses. Psalms 119, verses 49 and 50. And the psalmist says this, Remember the word unto your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. Verse 50, This is my comfort in affliction, for your word has given me life. Remember the word unto your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. The word of God to you and I is hope. And then in verse 50 he says, This is comfort for me. When, there, when affliction is present, it's comfort for me, for your word has given me Life. Let me just quick reminder today, Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore we are encompassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily besets us, and let us run with patience the race that is set. There's a race, there's an assignment, there's a purpose for each and every one of us that God has carved out, crafted for his own purposes, and it is unique for you and I. There is something that God has set before us that we're moving towards on the other side of it, uh, it is certainly purpose, it's destiny. It's the thing that was in the mind of God when he created us. All of us have a race. All of us have purpose. Psalms, uh, Proverbs 19, verse 21, and this is in the New International Version. The Bible says, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Once again, Proverbs 19, verse 21, New International Version, Many are the plans in a man's heart. But it is the Lord's purposes that prevail. Psalms 20 and verse 24, man's going or his course of life is of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? And let me insert this, outside of God's direction, God has created us for a specific purpose. Psalms 37 and verse 23, the steps of a good man, of a good woman, are ordered to the Lord. And he, God, delights in his, your way. All, all of us have purpose. And the word that God spoke to you, is certain. It's a certain word. Uh, numbers, numbers 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he declared and will he not make good? Everything that God has said to you is certain. And those words have brought hope and they are comfort in affliction. The Bible says in Psalms 34, 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Whatever God has said, it's sure. Whatever he's spoken, it's sure. Let it stir up in your heart again today. Let it stir up in your spirit again today. It is both hope and comfort. It is sure for you and I. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.